Hi, hello, namaskara, hegedira. In this episode, we are going to cover some of the exciting and amazing dosa places in Bangalore. When it comes to masala dosa, there are two theories regarding the origin of masala dosa. One theory says that it was invented in Udupi by Krishna Butter and later it spread across India. Krishna Butter is the one who is credited to have established the Woodlands Hotel, the popular Woodlands chain in Chennai and in other places of India. The second theory is from Mysore, it would have originated. Nevertheless, for us, the Bangaloreans, Bangalore is known to be the best masala dosa place in the entire country or in the entire world, I would say. More than Mysore and Udupi, you get masala dosa in different shapes, colors and different taste as well. For the yummiest and finger lickingly good masala dosa, no other city can beat Bangalore. We will cover some of the iconic as well as most sought after dosa places in Bangalore. It's going to be exciting. Stay with me till the end. In addition to the dosa experience or dosa eating experience, the old school vibe, the rustic charm of this place, that makes it more interesting, more enticing. Let's savor the masala dosa at Vidyarthi Bhavan. See, the dosa is glistening with ghee and that itself is an attractive sight and it excites you to the core. Now the dosa by itself. It is Christmas overload. You get the grimy or gritty feel when you have a bite of this dosa. I can't get enough of this crunchiness. It is roasted to perfection and that crispiness will get you mesmerized. Spectacular. Now, this palya. It's a mild palaya, it's not spicy, it's very mild and bland, but combined with the chutney, you get that spice kick. Mm. The chutney is made salty and also spicy, so it gets balanced. The mild, tame palaya along with this crispy dosa, it's a heavenly bite. If you want an unparalleled dosa experience, this is one of the places. For Bangaloreans, this is one of the places which is close to their hearts. Coming to Vidyarthi Bhavan and savouring this crunchy, sumptuous dosa is a ritual for many families. More than dosa, the experience you get here, nothing can beat it. The next Dosa spot is Chalukya Samrat. Chalukya Samrat is also almost more than 40 years old, 45 years old. They were functioning out of this Chalukya hotel till last year and then the hotel was sold and they have moved to this mall, one Shoba mall on Church Street and now they are called Chalukya Samrat Cafe. They are still dishing out this Emmy Dose from the new place. The very good looking, very gorgeous Dose is this Masala Dose from Chalukya Samrat. And the preparation method is also completely different from other dosa places. Let's see how it is. Uh, here at Chalukya, they have given three chutneys. One green chutney, one red and one coconut chutney. Then they have given sambar also. In addition to that, they have given a very small dollop of butter also. The dosa is in triangular shape. Uh, by touching it, I can feel the crispiness. It's completely crispy. You can see it's packed like a samosa. It looks like a big samosa wrapped up. Wow! First the dosa by itself. Immediately you get the flavor of ghee and also the chutney which has gone into this orange masala dosa with this palya. Mm. The palya is very mild. And it's the conventional palya which goes into 
masal dosa or the palya they give for this puri the same one you get at home or in the old style restaurants they give this type of palya the same palya i have got now let's quickly check on the chutneys one thing which differentiates chalukya from other dosa places is the chutney or all the three chutneys i would say so none of these chutneys have that roasted chana dal or the turugarle but it's just coconut and then chili and garlic now the coconut chutney is the surprise element whereas in almost 99 percentage of the places you will get a coconut chutney made of urugarle and mint but here it is just the coconut chili and garlic tasting very good overall it's a splendid and fantastic masala dosa those who love the old style of masala dosa you must visit this chalukya for this orange masala dosa Our next dosa spot is Chikana Tiffin Room. I have got a ghee masala dosa. Let me dig in and see how it is. When I had a bite of this dosa, it was almost like paper thin. The texture was somewhat similar to rava dosa. So I was wondering whether it's a rava dosa or a masala dosa. That kind of thin texture, very good. And it is oozing with ghee. You can see how much ghee it has, but it is super tasty. Now with this palya and chutney together. Oh my goodness! It melts in the mouth. The palya, unlike other places, it is runny. It's not a very thick palya or a gatti palya. Here it is very runny. The moment you envelop that palya with this dosa and also add some chutney to it, it is a heavenly combination. The gatti chutney is having its punch, but it's not spicy. It is very flavorful. Coriander, ginger makes it so fresh and flavorful. Lovely. The texture of this dosa. as i said this thin and that itself adds an extra attraction to this dosa a lovely masala dosa one of the must try masala dosas in bangalore Our next amazing masala dosa spot is Om Sai Skanda Dosa Camp. This is in Alsur. Those who complain about not having a proper dosa place in this part of Bangalore, this Sai Skanda is the spot. Many people recommended this Sai Skanda, and I am here for the first time. Let me see how it is. Here at Sai Skanda, they have given three chutneys. I think one pudina chutney, then one onion chutney, and then one coconut chutney. Along with that, they have given sambar also. then the dosa looks so crispy and so golden brownish let me dig in this dosa has that magical texture of being soft and crispy at the same time when it comes to crispiness it is soft crispiness it's not hard crispiness at the same time the dosa is also spongy that itself gives you a good impression the first bite itself gave me a good impression now this palya in palya we have tiny chunks of potatoes and also 
this tempered with sauce or mustard seeds and also I'm seeing coriander leaves and it's not very gutty it's somewhat thick not very thick and not runny as well as you can see they have applied some chutney on it but the chutney is not too much the right amount of chutney is spread on this this is a kind of dosa which doesn't need any accompaniment just the dosa by itself is too great and along with the masala and the chutney that is smeared on this this tastes heavenly recently i haven't tasted this kind of masala dosa too good and too great all the three chutneys taste good and they are fresh as well and sambar is also good i cannot complain about it but just dosa by itself is enough to have that excellent masala dosa experience Our next masala dosa spot is Siddapa Hotel. This is not a restaurant. This is like a home where you can come and have some homely dosas and idlis. But our focus today is masala dosa. That's half masala dosa at Siddapa. This is a thin crust. It's almost like a crepe, and also inside they have. smeared some chutney and also the palliya thick palliya masala dosa is roasted dark brown to golden brown and it's crispy throughout super crispy now with this sagu This is one of the dosa though it is crispy it's not greasy uh, you cannot see any oil sticking to my fingers each bite is a staircase to heaven such a wonderful crispy crunchy masala dosa and the palliya is another highlight this is not runny and also you get some fine chunks of potatoes and spiced up with some curry leaves chili and coriander and it's not spicy as well it goes very very well with this crispy masala dosa i'm not taking any accompaniment either chutney or that kurma they have given this dosa by itself is tasting extremely splendid a nice masala dosa spot if you are a masala dosa lover that to a ghee masala dosa this is a must must visit place After a wait of 10 minutes, we have got this most popular, much talked about masala dosa at Sri Sagar or CTR, and this is a recipe which is thriving for the last hundred years. And now today we are here to experience this hundred years old recipe and how the masala dosa at CTR tastes. One thing is, it has a thick crust and also it's so crispy and it's crunchy. If you break a piece of the dosa and look at the crust it's somewhat like an uthappam the texture of this is somewhat close to uthappam very thick but at the same time they have maintained the crispness outside first the dosa by itself in the center portion you have that thickness the crust is so thick but the exterior areas it is so thin and very crisp with each bite you get that crunch it's golden brown to dark brown in some areas it is golden brown and some areas it is dark brown but it's roasted very well and you get lot of ghee on your palm when you break this dosa the palliya here also the palliya is somewhat semi solid it's not completely runny or completely thick the palliya is mild 
it has very less salt or it's very mildly spiced or i would say there is no spice at all that kind of palya they have given there are two chutneys one is pudina chutney the other one is the regular kai chutney first pudina chutney this pudina chutney has that saltiness and also the spice punch you look for in a chutney and also it goes very well with this tem palya now with this coconut chutney this is somewhat salty but i prefer that pudina chutney it goes very well with this masala dosa though the palya or the masala is bland but the dosa is salted enough it compensates for the loss of salt in this palya it's a good dosa if you are fine with some extra grease in your dosa this is an excellent option i love this time tested traditional masal dosa from cdr our next dosa spot is lakshmi nagar refreshment this is a very well known name in nagarat pet kapan pet area lakshmi nagar is famous for one thing it is their ghee podi masala dosa so i have got a ghee podi masala dosa from lakshmi nagar let me have it and see how the crispy goodness is the flavor of ghee tantalizes your taste but in the first bite itself and immediately you, it's like a crepe a sweet and savory crepe that kind of taste you get the podi is somewhat sweet at the same time it has some spice hit that way you get both sweet and savory taste in this dosa particularly with this podi then the ghee combined with this podi it is amazing now with palya in kapan pet both in chicken and also in lakshmi nataraj the palya is rani the rani palya also gives a different dimension or a different taste or flavor profile to masala dosa so i enjoy this rani palya now everything together with some chutney wonderful wonderful similar to chicken up here also we have a thin crust and uh, also in the middle it is somewhat thick but otherwise it is a thin crust masala dosa and also it is super crispy this kai chutney is super fresh and also flavorful now this red chutney the red chutney is a tomato onion chutney you can have this masala dosa without these chutneys but with that chutney it tastes extra good another extraordinary dosa in this area of bangalore either kapan pet or nagarat pet you have two good options chicken and this one lakshmi nataraj thoroughly enjoyed The next dosa spot is Namma SLN. This is also there for almost three, four decades. It is a very small hole in the wall kind of shop, which you will miss. It is next to this legendary Vidyarthi Bhavan and also this Upahar Darshini. Next to Upahar Darshini and also 100 meters from Vidyarthi Bhavan. The dosa here is Sabaki Masale. Not many places in Bangalore serve this Sabaki Masale, so let's have this Sabaki Masale at Namma SLN.
it is crispy throughout but it has a soft crunch it is almost like uh, uthappam uh, but it's still crisp so it's not a crepe like dosa or it's it doesn't have that hard crunchiness or the hard crispness unlike in other places this is another variant of dosa you will get in nama bangalore the flavor of sabaki stands out it's heavenly oh, i'll have this dosa with palya this palya is somewhat pasty it's not thick like other alugatte palya nor it is runny it's somewhat pasty and uh, you get very minute chunks of potatoes or it is almost mashed so you don't get any chunks of potato at all it is almost like a paste and the kampu chutney along with this dosa it's divine along with the legendary places like city or or vidyarthi bhavan this kind of small hole in the wall eateries which are there for several years they also serve exceedingly good dosa you must try the masala dosa at namme salan in the best masala dosa places in bangalore our next spot is mtr in mtr you'll get the dosa the old school way they make it in a triangle shape compared to the new age places or darshanis the shape will be different but here they still maintain that old school way of preparing this masala dosa it's dark brown and in some places it is orangey but it looks so gorgeous and so beautiful such a crispy bite which evokes emotions in you when you have this i'm having this mtr masala dosa for decades every time i have it it gives a new experience and evokes emotions or memories love it so i'll pour this ghee now with ghee and some palya the texture of dosa itself is grainy you get some gritty texture with each bite and the palya is also super good with small chunks of potatoes and flavorful coriander and caramelized onions it's wonderful even you can feel that gritty texture or the grainy texture when you break the dosa you can get some sandy feel it's somewhat grainy so too good i don't need any accompaniment sambar may not be required but with chutney definitely this dosa tastes extremely good very good dosa and the surface of the dosa they have smeared this mint chutney mildly smeared it's not overly spicy that way it is a classic masala dosa The next and last dosa spot is Janata Hotel. This Janata Hotel is also one of the oldest hotels in Bangalore. It started in 1965. Here the dosa is cylindrical and this is the conventional way they make the dosa. It's rare to find this kind of dosas. The other differentiating factor is unlike other places where they darken it or they fry it till it becomes black or brown, here it is somewhat golden orange. So that itself is very attractive first the dosa by itself extremely crispy kampu chutney is smeared all over so i am getting that taste of kampu chutney in my first bite itself now this palya you can check this palya this is somewhat thick palya there you have some good lumps of potatoes 
Now this palya along with this dosa. Hmm. In some places, the crispness of dosa, along with that mild palya, the chutney will give the extra kick, and that will give you a great masala dosa experience. But here, the palya is the star. It is somewhat salty. At the same time, the mustard and the other seasonings give it a very good flavor. Mm. This is one of the doses where you will feel like you are having a masala dosa at home. That kind of thin and crisp dosa, and the palya is also giving a homely feel. So wonderful. This dosa and palya along with this chutney. This is a kind of chutney which gives way to this dosa and the palya to highlight the goodness of this dosa and palya and it stays as a second fiddle or it stays behind the scenes elevating the flavor of the dosa and palya. Too good. Another amazing dosa experience here at Janata Hotel. If you are in Viviparam, this is one of the places you must try and you will feel excited with this masala dosa experience. That was an incredible masala dosa experience. Each one of these places tantalized my taste buds and also it was a hearty masala dosa experience. Coming to the dosa in each one of these places, they are different. Some of them are cylindrical in shape, some of them are triangular in shape, some of them are circular in shape and the taste profile also is completely different in each one of these doses. The masala dosa places covered in this video is not in any particular order. It is randomly done. I cannot rate any of them because each one is unique and each one has a different style of dosa preparation. So we cannot tell this is number one or this is number two. So let's go with the flow and enjoy the masala dosa experience in Bangalore. If you are either in Bangalore or if you are coming to Bangalore, you must visit all these places and you will thoroughly enjoy each one of them like me. Thanks very much for staying with me throughout this dosa saga. Till I come up with another interesting episode like this. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay safe. If you are not a subscriber of Food and Food Only already, do subscribe. Bye.